YouTube family want go on. Maverick in the space. See it here, no? Maverick in the color, you know? And in the space again, you know? See it here, you know? Jamaica, we say, you know? See it loud and clear. <laughs> you don't know what this has signified. Yeah, you see it? All roads and all eyes they depend on the reggae girls in you know, them second game of the World Cup, you know? Yeah, man, I got the job done. This is what I say. So if you follow up them historic first point at the World Cup where them get against the big bad France the other day. Them get them first victory and them first three points at the World Cup against Panama. Yeah man, reggae girls them represent again another good say, disciplined, clean sheet again, you know. First two games at the World Cup, clean sheet. No goals conceded. If you're proud of the reggae girl them one more time, it buck. Yeah man. So it was a it was a tough game, obviously. No one never expected it got easy, especially without the talismanic Bunny Shah. But the girls they had enough in a, in a, in a, in a belief and execution to get the job done. And so you know we don't have a good team going, you know. And by the way, people, there's a flashpoint in the game when we really want to discuss. We can't show you the footage. The last time I try. Show some of the World Cup footage. I mean, you get no problem, you know. <laughs> we can't show the footage. We don't have the right to show the footage. So we don't have to talk about it. But we assume that everybody see it. See, the penalty call at the end of the game, where the VAR referee call the Anfield official and then rule out the penalty for Jamaica. Before I ring up the hook, the people that ask me, I walk on the cars the referee to rule out the penalty. No, we call some referees, you know. In fact, we call three referees. Prominent local referees, three of them I call. But some of them don't answer me. I don't know if them busy. I don't know if them busy. I don't get you to know them. I sat there, so I don't know if them busy. But what I said, though, the penalty itself, though. But I don't need the referee. I mean, I'm the maverick. I'm going to explain it to why I feel the referee chalk off the penalty. I'm going to get us penalty, you know. Yeah, man. I'm going to get us penalty because I think the hand stopped the ball from going towards the goal. So for the reason they alone would have prone for Gita's penalty. But also the referee them interpret the law. What they did, when they, when they, they all right, initially the Anfield referee say penalty, you know. She see it as penalty. Boom, but VAR people, everyone, they know, look on it and call her over. What I thought, because when you look at it, you see clearly the ball hit the girl hand. You see clearly the girl in the penalty area. So the ball hit hand in penalty area. You don't think penalty, but there's another consideration. The hand, I think, was not enough away from the girl's body. That's why she she take back the penalty. You see, if you, if you remember the call, the girl handed there, yes, sir. She come out from that the ball, you know what? It's not like I handed out, yes, sir. I handed there, yes, sir. Right? And it, although she kind of turned sideways and it hit her hand, so her hand was pretty much in a, what them call a natural position. So if I handed protrude out and in a one them deem a unnatural position and hit the ball and the ball hit the hand they would have deemed as a penalty so that me feel why they don't get the penalty you hear me just sit and confirm from my referee friend but I don't know what I tell you because there's no other thing because you look at the replay and you see where the girl is the girl is over the line and you depend the line is a penalty you know but she is over the line and you see clearly the ball struck the hand so there's no doubt see, that's what I tell people all the while you know in a football, you know, the ball hitting the hand is not necessarily handball, you know. You remember when the referee go up to the, the, the replay monitor and watch it, and them have this new thing in the, in the women's football now where they explain them decision when they go far. She basically said, no handball, no penalty. Now, obviously, the ball hit the player's hand, but it was deemed no handball because a hand never protrude away from her body. So it's not no handball, you know. So the ball go, go, go around the corner for your corner when you talk football and say it's a handball and she don't get penalty. It was ruled no handball. That's the call where she make after she consult. The VAR replays. As I said for me, me I get a penalty there. But it is what it is. Yeah? And if Jamaica didn't get a penalty there, you know, you know say we don't attack the group now. From goal defense over France. We did need one more goal. Whether it's from that penalty or was from open play. We need one more goal for top. The group. Can you imagine Jamaica tap the group and going to the final round of games? Yeah? Alright. But we don't want that take away from the performance of the girl. No. Big performance again. Another lesson in teamwork, camaraderie, 
and good team chemistry, you know. Yeah, man, there are some new pieces in the team, but there's a there's a kind of cohesion and a belief in another set of girls yeah. We have come out. As I said, the core of this team yeah, playing at the 2019 World Cup. You know. Half of the team playing at the 2019 World Cup. But me just feel that that, that core that's been together for so long, they have pull along the new pieces and 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 it them have function as as almost a consummate team. A punch above above them weight and look now like they want to qualify for the next round of the World Cup. All them need now is a draw against Brazil, you know. I remember you know, people, London and Snit come out after the game against France and say that point against France are the biggest point in the history of Jamaica football, you know. Across all gender, you know. <laughs> then can you imagine you now if Lon Donaldson can prevent either France or Brazil from qualifying for the next round of the World Cup? And what would I do? What would I say? <laughs> because as it is now, you know, for Jamaica to qualify, Panama get eliminated already. So for Jamaica, it's, it's two out of Brazil, Jamaica, and France are going through, you know. So if Jamaica qualify, it's either France or Brazil, they're going to they knock out. At, as it is now, Brazil are the more likely candidate. If we can get a result, when we say get a result, we mean say we don't lose the game. Because we only need a draw no? against Brazil for go through, you know. Because Brazil left on three points. And if we draw with Brazil, we there five points. And Brazil are going to stop on four. So, and that's the equation there. So, if we qualify for the next round, you know, it's a powerhouse. We are going to knock out of the World Cup and qualify for the next round, you know. Who know that name London as national hero? <laughs> they know you mean. Yeah, man. And again, people, we see some of the intangibles again when we always are talking about in a team sport, in a team football, in a football. Where some intangibles with the girl, them. The kind of self belief and confidence that they play with. Yeah. The reggae boys, them need to look on them and learn from them. Everybody talk about for them man of the match. You know what's my man of the match at the other centre half? Not the captain who scored the goal. Yeah, you could have get the captain. But I'm very impressed with her sister. One of them named Alice and Swaby and one name. What, what, what's Swaby the other one? Christine? The other Swaby though. The and two sisters play centre half, you know. Me love the other centre half. She don't she don't miss nothing. She don't miss nothing at the ear. And when she win them and intercept them, she use the ball. She don't kick by the ball. Yeah, there's a reason why Jamaica don't concede no goal in the World Cup yet, you know. And the center half pairing there is a big part of it. I like the girl when you tip on the camera and we come in at wing back. I want the original wing back. I she first start at wing back. She full of tenacity and, and bite and zest. Me rate her. Me like her around the side. It's a discovery for me, you know. Because I think she was a power, you know. It's a versatile girl who can play anyway, you know. You know, the commentator said it one time. But me like her. See? And this time the coach he was up in bench, he put on some fresh legs for a run up and down. And what is a good look, people? Mega girls, you remember when they get out Vin Blaine and run him out of the seat? You know, so me and one of the men they never agree with us something there. And I still don't agree with it in principle, you know. And me and one of the men they said, the girl I'm going too much and them too hype and he's like me, I fall out of love with them. But me, I fall back in love with them. As a real man, stay with woman. You can, you can fall out of love and fall back in love. They fall back in love with the reggae girl. <laughs> Never represent no people. So me I said, big up the reggae girl. Let me know. Well done, you know, but you hear the explanation of the penalty, though. That is why it's not a penalty. And I'm out for the time being again, you know. Out. 